everyone and welcome to another sleepy time story. Today we're reading Molly's Moon Mission by Duncan Beatty. If you enjoy this book, we recommend that you purchase a copy for yourself so that you can read along and so that you can support the author. Sleepy Time Stories takes no credit for this work of art and we're just sharing it for the love of literature. So without further ado, we'll start. Molly's Moon Mission by Duncan Beatty. Molly the moth lived in the back of a closet. She loved her home and her family, but she yearned for an adventure. I want to be an astronaut and fly to the moon. Molly declared. I'm not sure your tiny wings would make it there, said her mother. We'll see about that, thought Molly. So when she wasn't busy helping her mom look after her siblings, she trained hard for her space mission. At long last, she was ready. Five, four, three, Two, one, blast off! And to Molly's surprise, a few seconds later, I made it to the moon, she cried. This isn't the moon, buzzed a huge fly. This is a light bulb. The moon is much bigger and much farther away. Too far for a little mite like you. We'll see about that, thought Molly, and she set off in search of a much bigger light. So this is the moon, Molly exclaimed. Oh, you poor creature, said a large spider. This is a street lamp. The moon is much, much brighter and much, much farther away. Too far for a little thing like you, I'd wager. We'll see about that, thought Molly. She flew on until she saw a light that was bigger and brighter than anything she had seen before. She followed the light around and around in circles. The closer she got, the dizzier she became. Eventually, Molly was so dizzy, she fell to earth with a plop. I guess this isn't the moon either then, spluttered Molly. I'm afraid not, said a wise old crab as he fished her out of the tide pool. This is a lighthouse. The moon is much, much farther away. Too far away for a teeny moth like me, I suppose, Molly asked sadly. I don't know about that, replied the crab. I could count the number of fish I've caught on one pincer, but it hasn't stopped me from trying night after night. Encouraged by the crab's words, Molly patched on her helmet, saluted, and launched herself upward once again. Toward the biggest, brightest, farthest light she could see. After a long, giddy flight, Molly finally touched down. Surely this must be the moon, she cried, but there was no one to hear her. She wandered across the pale, dusty landscape. All of a sudden, home felt very, very long way away. Just then, a giant shadow loomed over her. One small step for a moth? Hey, watch out, shrieked Molly, jumping out of the way in the nick of time. Sorry about that, kid, said the astronaut. I didn't expect to find anyone else here on the moon. You mean I actually made it to the moon? Molly asked. I knew I could do it. 
That's a pretty giant leap for a little critter, said the other astronaut. I guess you'll be too tired to help with our special mission then. We'll see about that, Molly said cheerfully. So she helped the astronauts take photos of the moon's surface. Then she helped them collect samples of rocks and moon dust. And they even had time for some fun before planting a ceremonial flag. We'd better be heading back, said the astronauts as they prepared the lunar module for liftoff. Molly stared out into the vastness of space. It was so dark. How would she ever navigate her way home? Cheer up, you're one of us now, kid, the astronaut said, and they gave Molly her very own lunar mission patch. Now, how about we give you a ride home? Oh, yes, please said Molly. As the astronauts busied themselves in the module, Molly gazed out the window toward the earth. Far away, the city lights twinkled, but one of those lights was bigger, brighter, and more inviting than all the others. And before she knew it, Molly was safely back home. I've been to the moon, Molly cried, giving her mother a big hug. Well, I never, her mother exclaimed proudly. My Molly, the only moth ever to fly to the moon. We'll see about that, thought Molly. <laughs> the end. Thank you so much for joining us for another Sleepy Time story. Today we read Molly's Moon Mission by Duncan Beatty. If you like this book as much as we do, we recommend you pick up a copy at your local bookstore or online. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, sweet dreams.